In July and August last year, Myanmar experienced heavy rains that caused flooding of some farmlands. To help the local residents recover from the devastation, Suji began distributing rice seeds to those farmers who were heavily affected. Another distribution was held, and this time it was joined by the head of Taepyar Village, who brought along 20-some volunteers to help the distribution to go smoothly. After massive flooding in Myanmar in 2015, which devastated paddies, Tsuji has continued to hold rice seed distributions in heavily affected areas for the farmers. This is the 44th time. Before the distribution began, Tsuji volunteers held a small informative meeting and a few locals from Tepyar village volunteered to be in charge of making lunch for everyone. Tsuji's assistance has made me realize the importance of quitting my chewing beetle nut habit. I just want to do good from now on. Last year when the flood happened, our farmland was flooded. I was so worried that I had a heart attack. Afterwards, Siji came to distribute rice seeds for everyone. My husband said he wanted to join the volunteers' ranks, and I agreed and support him wholeheartedly. Helping at the distribution is the head of Tepyar village, who has brought a few strongmen to help carry the rice home for the rest of the village. Ever since he began his volunteer training, Uang Ten has been very happy that he would be helping others in need. There are three people in my family currently in training to be a volunteer. My other children have expressed a willingness as well to join the Tsuji path. This is good for society as many people join hands to bring harmony to the world. Doing good deeds isn't something exclusive to the rich. The poor can do good deeds as well. The master says, if one has the heart, then anyone can do good deeds. This is why I like Tsuji. It makes me happy to be a volunteer alongside other people. Seeing how much my father has changed since becoming a volunteer, I wanted to participate to experience the changes myself. As a father and village head, Uang Ten leads his family and fellow neighbors to join in doing good deeds. In the future, this group of do-gooders in Tepyar village is sure to shine their compassion on more forgotten corners of Myanmar.